you've played and coached against uh, former coaches and former bosses before. Uh, how different is it, uh, or is there any difference getting ready to go up against Urban now that he's in the division? No, I don't think there's any difference. I mean, um, you, you know, our focus is on trying to you know prepare for for the Jaguars who who have really played well. You know, the last few games early. You know, they've gotten out to some leads and. You know, really playing the game, I'm sure, how they um, had envisioned it. Um, getting the quarterback on the move, you know, taking care of the football, running the football, uh, getting it in their playmakers' hands. And, um, you know, that's what we're focused on. One benefit of the loss to, to on Sunday is that nobody's going to be overlooking a team that's 0-4 at this point for your guys? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really, you know, again, we – we, we move the ball and we can go back and, and dissect the game, but you know, I wouldn't say that there would be a good thing about ever losing. Um, you know, try to continue to tell our team that you know, we're third in the league in first downs on offense. We just have turned it over and we we haven't you know scored as many touchdowns as we should have down in the red zone defensively. We've given up um, fifth fewest. Um, you know, we're fifth in first downs allowed, but we haven't gotten enough turnovers and given up big plays. So that's that's the things that we're focused on. What have you seen as far as improvement from their quarterback from week one to, to just this? Well, he's taking care of the football. You know, he's been efficient in, in moving the pocket. He's you know been efficient when he's decided to to keep it. Um, you know, on the read plays and you know when he's able to get the run reliefs and, and throw it out there, he's been decisive with the football. Hasn't really held on to it, um, you know. Even though I think the O line's playing well, it's a group that that we're familiar with. I don't know if you even do this, but uh, do you ever kind of like look around the rest of your division and see some of the situations there, and, and allow that to kind of give you perspective on, you know, how it may not be as bad as it seems here for you? Yeah, no, I meant, uh, you know, we all have high expectations and standards, and you know, certainly we're 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 500, we're two and two. And uh, we've played well at times. We've played um, not very well at times. And so uh, we, we don't really look around. Um, you know, I don't think we can aff afford ourselves that luxury to, to say, well, you know, we have one more win than, you know, three other teams. It's just, you know, whatever it may be. The X plays a lot. And I know. Do you feel it's kind of uh, essential to kind of balance out, like, you know, if, if you know, another team's getting a lot of X plays. Do you need to get that many in order to balance it out in order to, to be successful? I think we need to try to get more points than they do, John. And so uh, if, if they're getting them, if we're getting them in X plays, then great. Um, but that, that's the focus, you know, is obviously you know, playing better down there in the red zone. And, you know, just, you know, every week, not every week, but a few weeks where we, you know, you come in and say, well, they had five plays for 190 yards and 50 for 100 or whatever it was, 120. I mean, it's just, you know, trying to eliminate those, um, you know, those five plays or, you know, a big penalty or whatever it may be that those chunk plays that change momentum, that changes field position. Coach, I know it's easier when you have a guy like Julio Jones or A.J. Brown in there, but would you like to see maybe some more explosive plays on the offensive side of the ball? As many as we can get, Kayla. As many as we can get. We'll take as many as we can get from uh, from whoever. Um, you know, and, and part of that is, you know, trying to get some some turnovers on defense that that could create some some explosive play opportunities to try to continue to get them in special teams uh, in the return phase. And and we we caused a fumble on a kickoff the other day, and it just and went right by Nick, and you know, so th those are all game-changing, turning plays. That yes, we, we would love to have as many as we could on offense. Those chunk plays and in, in pass defense. I think I think you guys are tied with the Chiefs for the most in the league with five. Like, what can you do to to limit those and, and not have those occur so much? Mm. Um, don't look back at the quarterback. Play the ball when it's in the air. Don't you know. It's just a 50 50. I mean, it's not even 50 50. Some of those look like Hail Marys. What can guys do to gain some separation on the offensive side that we've been seeing in some Jets necessarily? Uh, I think we have to play more physical. You know, I mean, I think we have to, you know, I mean, if they're going to get up and, and get on us and, and, you know, 
grab us and, and you know play physical that we're going to have to do that as well. Um, you know, running great routes and and using some of those you know traffic opportunities when we can and to to try to get open and create some space and um, you know win. Derek on Thursday, the last couple of weeks, what makes that a good day to sort of give him a little break like that? I mean, you only got three days to pick, so it's, you know, the way practice is scheduled and structured and you know, how much we do on Wednesday as opposed to how much we're doing on Thursday, does he need, you know, when does the rest come? You know, certainly he's going to need rest and um, recovery, so you know, we'll see how it goes this week. Process of getting Darrington back at work today. I mean, how much would it help you if you could get him back? How much would he bring to the offense, maybe in the return game? Uh, you know, we'll see what's there. Not, you know, see how he feels. And on the kickoff return, it, I mean, we got to block better. I'm going to say it was returner, returner error when three guys hit him. You know, could have Billy White Shoes Johnson back there returning if we don't block very well. Um, Did you guys see that you wound up elevating him and got a pretty decent amount of That was, you know, everybody on the practice squad has an opportunity to play. We're down a lot of guys and they're down a few guys. And, you know, he's had been multiple and, and knows a few positions and can play, you know, inside or, or outside. He had kind of more snaps than. Ola, is, is that a similar position, or, or, can, or does you know, Bledsoe do some different things? Than maybe Ola? No, I think that would be different. You know, I mean, I think um, you know that would be that would be different. Um, you know, when you when you move Danico outside and you rotate with with Harold and Danico and Ola. So. Ryan said something yesterday about not wanting to overuse Ola to take up special teams. Surely, if Ola's rushing well. Want, you'd prioritize the rushing over special teams for him. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know what Ryan said. I didn't, you know, didn't read Crow's quotes. Um, I, don't, I don't think that that was a, a situation. You know, I mean, it's about, you know, w when you start to, to put other guys in there, it's how much do they know, what do they understand based on the game plan. Um, and, and then, you know, Harold and bringing Harold or Danico off the field and, you know, I, I hope that, you know, in some of those passing situations and, and certainly, you know, we'll continue to work all in there and, you know, we like kind of what he's done. Mike, do you have any conversations or texts with uh, Urban through all these issues he's having either either this week or even really since he's been in the NFL? No, we haven't had any conversations uh, since he's been in the NFL. Uh, yeah. We're focused on preparing this week and, and going down and, Trying to get healthy, trying to get ready for a new challenge. What did you most take from your time with him, and what do you feel like made him so successful as, as a coach, at least at the college level? Um, you know, I coached with uh, for him for two years at Ohio State, and you know, I felt like I became a better coach. I was a young coach, um, you know, focused on on teaching, you know, young players, and uh, I felt like I improved at that. I learned a lot. Um, you know, we're, we're at a different point uh, in, in both of our careers now. Well, you, uh, you had two fullbacks active, I guess, on Sunday. Well, I guess what did Corey do? To we'll see where run? we'll see where it goes this week. You know, I'm not sure where where we'll be with the active or inactive. What did Corey do to maybe earn an opportunity? And has he done with his snaps? Yeah, I mean, he tried to play physical, and um, you know, we'll see where he is this week, and. Um, Helped us on special teams too. What are some of the things that he's done just to kind of see this gradual increase to where he's basically like kind of like a starter now? Well, I mean, David is. You know, I mean, he'll. I would imagine that if he's healthy and ready to up for the game, he'll he'll start. Um, he's he's played well. He's played fast, and um, you know, we, we feel like we have a few guys in there that can can rotate, and we got to continue to rotate them. Find some roles for him, and uh, keep him fresh, and, and try to continue to get some production and playmaking ability. David triggers on the football, and you know, he plays plays fast and, and plays hard. Are there situations where Long and Jayon fit together fine as the as the inside pairing? Is there any reluctance based on no? I don't size? think I don't think there's any reluctance. I'm not, 
I don't think there's any reluctance to, to play both of those guys at the same time. I think it was announced Sunday that maybe Roger went in, was being evaluated for concussion symptoms. He had the protocol uh, at the start of the week. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, yes, he still would be in the protocol. Um, see where it goes through this week in practice.